So ImageLine provides you with a few ways of exporting the sound. Now, you could find that you've got a big project, which you can probably see from a beat that I have made recently, that I have mixed. Uh, it's, there's a lot of tracks and occasionally you'll see that, you know, the CPU meter is clipping or for whatever reason, you know, you just need to bounce that track. Now, what I found in the past is that if I was to bounce a track, it would be at a significantly lower volume. And I'll be like, well, that doesn't make any sense. You know, I've turned the FX off. I have reset the volume faders. I've done, I've done it exactly how I should do. Yet, why is it that the volume is lower? So I raised a post over on Image Lines forums and they gave me an explanation, quite a technical explanation as to why that is. But essentially, if you record a sound, it will uh, record at a lower volume and then you have to go into the channel settings and increase it accordingly to get it to be the same gain as it was prior to you exporting it. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, you'll see on screen now is a link to the user manual for FL Studio that explains why it records at a lower volume. Obviously, I'm not expecting you to read that, but you can if you wanted to. Uh, I'm going to show you now what you need to do to, to bring the gain, uh, to unify the gain. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, um, the way that I export my tracks is I will enable the, uh, where we go, the arm disc recording here. Cause I just, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bounce this uh, little piano stab. Oh, that's quite loud. Just turn and that's it. Okay, so I've got the disc record uh, icon switched on. Then if you click on the drop down of the mixer and then just go disc recording, render to WAV file, make sure you've got all of these selected, uh, particularly the latency to make sure that everything's still in time. Uh, I don't think these are any different um, by default, but um, just reuse the settings you can see here. I'm uh, pretty sure they're the same, but um, you know, if you want to save space, you can lower that to 16-bit. I always leave it 32. Just hit start. That will export the sound. It will put it into the playlist as well as create an insert. Okay, so you can see here that the waveform is quite small. You could obviously normalize it. Uh, I personally don't use the normalize function, but if we were to replay the sound in the track, and we'll just we'll just compare it. So this is what's playing in the mixer. And then you've got the export. So you can hear the export is much quieter. All you need to do is you just need to go to the spanner uh, up here, and then you just want to increase the volume by 137%. So if you just look at the top left-hand corner under here, you'll see that you've got the percentage. So you increase it to 137%. Now if we play them back together. And then the original sound. You can see now that they both have the exact same volume gain. Uh, then from here, I mean, you could either save a new version of the file and then delete the plugin uh, from the uh, step sequencer. If you want to save CPU, you could use a macro called, where are we? Uh, smart switch smart disable for all plugins and just make sure that you've got that plugin switched off in the step sequencer that will help save cpu but yeah for whatever purpose it is that you're exporting the sound this is how you ensure that unity gain is achieved i hope that helped peace